Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today we are looking at my work in progress Disney bracelet as it currently stands. It is about maybe halfway, a little over halfway full. Um, and I don't know 100% if this, all the charms on here will stay on here as it is a work in progress. Part of me thinks that eventually I will have a Disney bracelet and a separate Tinkerbell bracelet because Tinkerbell is one of my absolute favorites and I wouldn't mind getting the rest of the pieces from her collection that I don't have and doing a separate Tinkerbell design. But as of right now, that is not in the cards. Uh, so we are going to take a look at the charms that I do have as they look on this bracelet. I also have a mini design on a three part bangle. One of the ones with the rose gold section up front. This is a small mini design with that Cinderella carriage from Disney, Disneyland, Disney World. I'm not sure which Disney it is. Um, I picked it up on one of our trips to the parks. It is one of the exclusives. It's the only Disney charm on here. It also has some Muranos and some clips on here, but I do wear it stacked with the other bracelet or on its own. So I figured let's just look ooh, at both because there's very little on this bracelet to do a separate video for it. So today we are looking at all of the Disney in my collection, which is not much. There are some people who go to the parks often and have extensive Disney collections. I am just happy to have this much because uh, I just recently put this video together when I picked up these Cinderella Muranos and I didn't think I had is any Disney. Um, since then, I have been gifted two or three charms uh, that are Disney from my mom because she knew I was working on this bracelet. So they have gone on here and they have really bulked it up. So let's take a look. All right, y'all. So we have my work in progress Disney design, which you can see has quite a few charms. And my standalone, what I call Cinderella design, because Cinderella's carriage here is the only actual charm on this bracelet. Um, and I do wear these stacked sometimes, but I tend to wear this baby stacked with other rose gold pieces more than anything now let's go over this one first since she is smaller i have the rose gold and blue clips on either side and of course this is the three link bangle i love this bangle it is my favorite of all bangles because as you can see it is not a perfect circle which means when i put it on this portion fits beautifully at the front of my wrist and it is so much more comfortable than a standard bangle. And if I, I bought this one off Rulala and I haven't found the rose gold one in my size since. If I had known then what I know now, I probably would have bought every single one they had in my size because I love it. <laughs> they also have it in the gold and I may get that one because I have a few designs I'd like to put on it, but it's not necessary. Then I have the heart Muranos and these have the rose gold hearts on the side which are so precious. I love it. And the inside is kind of this iridescent glass. You can tell it has like little flakes in there. They just shine in the sun. Followed by my rose gold Cinderella's carriage. It has the blue like pave faceted glass inside she is so beautiful now this is an exclusive I don't remember if it was from Disneyland or Disney World I bought her from someone I trusted online and she's just so pretty and I just love how this little design came together I think it's very elegant from the pure elegance of this one we have my Pure Chaos, which is my Disney charm bracelet. I have put together a design that is wearable and enjoyable, but you can see, to me, it doesn't read as quite done. I either need another set of Muranos or a set, I need some clips on here. Um, it is also just on a 
silver heart bracelet that I picked up off Rula Locks. I had nothing for this to go on. Um, but eventually, the next time I go to Disney, I would like to pick up an exclusive Disney bracelet. Maybe the one with the carriage uh, for everything to go on. Either way, we will start at one side and go all the way around. So at the beginning here, we have Tinkerbell and Captain Hook's ship. This term is so detailed. Look at that map. The stick, second star to the right. Tinkerbell, of course, is underneath with the hallmarks. On the other side, there is the crocodile on the bottom of the ship. And I just love this charm. Now, I have thought about doing a purely Tinkerbell bracelet. So this may go on a different bracelet someday. But for now, she has no home. And this is a great one. Then we have Minnie Mouse that I picked up at a excellent clearance sale down in Mexico back. This was the very first charm I bought for a Disney bracelet. You can see the hallmarks on the sides and the pink CZs. She's just classy. Classy and I love the pink. I always love pink. Then more Cinderella. We have the little mouse. Oh, I think she's on a clip station. This is why I need clips. Um, but she is on her thread. She's got her needle. You just I can practically hear her singing Cinderella. Little feet. I love that hot pink enamel. I need at least one more charm with that hot pink enamel. Ideally, I would have had a whole pink Disney bracelet, but those Cinderella Muranos, y'all, they got me. All right. And then we have an open works Beauty and the Beast. So we've got Lumiere and Cogsworth. I think the castle it says awaits. I'm guessing it starts here. Yeah. Enchantment awaits. And it's got the roses and the hallmarks. The front, this is why I bought this charm, is Belle with Mrs. Potts and Chip reading her books, and I love it. Belle was always the princess I loved the most. I dressed up as her for Halloween 8 million times, and I'm a big reader, so I just love her. Next up is my non-Disney charm, Ghost the Direwolf from Game of Thrones. I put him on here because I thought he, he compliments Marie beautifully. And I don't have a Game of Thrones bracelet, so I thought this was a good home for him. He does have those red ruby CZ eyes. He's got his hallmarks on his head and a floofy tail. I do love him. Now, if I ever come up with a Game of Thrones design or manage to purchase the Muranos from this collection, uh, he may move, but for now, he is a good compliment to Marie. Obviously, like one of the 101 Dalmatians would be ideal to switch him out for. He's a little harsh here, <laughs> but I still love him. And since this bracelet is a bit of a mismatch of a design, he's fine. Then we have the Cinderella Muranos and look how glorious they are. They have like this blue glass of like her dress and it's like a bubble. Look at those scallops. But the the sides, the carriage sides, like y'all, you can't beat that. Just can't. All right, so then we have my central bead right now, which is Mickey and Minnie looking at the fireworks over the castle. I thought this was a great central bead, not only because it has the blues and the pinks from the rest of the bracelet, but if you flip it over, we have the open work stars and the other side says happily ever after, which is why I bought this charm. I wore it on a open bangle as a standalone charm for a very long time. Because, of course, my channel, my blog, my brand is Happily Ever After, etc. So, for me, this was a must-have charm. Um, and it very well may stay the centerpiece of this bracelet. Um, but if I found a different centerpiece, she could go back on an open mangle. Because I do love that charm. 
Then we have my Mickey mini ears. Um, if I had a choice, I would have gotten rose gold ones, but I didn't order this charm. I ordered a spacer and they sent me this charm. It has black and red CZs. And when I called them and said, hey, um, I ordered like a $10 spacer. You sent me mini ears. Pandora said, oh, go ahead and keep them and we'll send you the spacer. And so I got a spacer and mini ears, which I'm not ungrateful for, but she is my only dangle on this bracelet. So we're either going to have to get more dangles or move her. And my second Murano here. I love them so much. And then Marie, I've had her for a very long time. I t used to wear her on a five threaded pink fabric bracelet from Pandora because the pink on the bracelet matches the pink in her bow. But I do love her on this bracelet. And I could easily stack that pink threaded bracelet with this one. Then opposite the Sin or the Beauty and the Beast open works charm, we have Cinderella's open work chest charm with the clock and the mouse and the pumpkin. It's very sweet. I would really like the Beauty and the Beast and the Cinderella like dresses, not the like princess dresses, but the ones with like the blue swirls around it to go as dangles on this bracelet. But I don't have them yet. Then we have our other Tinkerbell charm. She has the green enamel. She's got her wings. She's got so much detail, little gold, yellow CZs all around. Ooh, I'm not able to hold her steady right now, I'm sorry. And she's resting on a little thimble which is very sweet and works really well with all the Cinderella thimble and thre thread on this bracelet. And last but not least, we have Alice in Wonderland's little teapot, which I don't know if that's technically Disney, but little guy in a teapot. He seems Disney enough. And I love the chain in the pocket watch. So cute. Then we have a kind of filler charm. This is one my mom got me for Christmas and it's just hearts. And I thought it was a cute one on here until I had something better or she may stay. But for right now, that is my work in progress Disney charm bracelet. As you can see, there are a lot of things on here that weren't necessarily bought for this bracelet. And if need be, could move somewhere else. But until I get more specific charms for this bracelet, they do fit the bill. I hope you liked my little Disney haul. I know compared to real avid Disney collectors, this is like nothing. <laughs> But for me, I am just happy to have a semi-cohesive design that I can wear and enjoy. Bye, y'all.